This is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com and today is the release day of the new Fire TV or Fire TV 2 or Fire TV 4K, uh, whatever you want to call it. And essentially it looks very similar to the original uh, Fire TV. It looks like there's a micro SD slot there. But um, what I'm going to do today is show you that this can, uh, you can put Kodi on top of it so you can pull in all your local media or stream media from the web. Uh, we sell these on our website, including the new ones are available now uh, with Kodi pre-installed on them. So if you don't want to go through all these steps, and and for me being experienced, it, it, you know, it might take me 15 or 20 minutes to do, and I'm only going to charge you 20 or 25 dollars to do it. So if you don't want to mess with your computer and hook it up and and spend the time to walk through these steps, uh, just visit GameRoomSolutions.com and you can pick one of these up. We ship them out typically. It's uh, two day shipping, and you'll get them. So I'll, I'll go through the steps here. The only the first thing I noticed that was different is on the remote to take the back off. You push it and it locks at a certain distance here. So you got to kind of lift it up. And, and these things, I've opened a few of them. They're pretty sticky like that. So it's a little different than how the original one came off. Put your batteries in. All right, so from there I'll show you how to... Uh, go through the steps to load Cody on this. I have noticed that uh, these do work tremendously faster. I'd say this is probably four times faster than the Fire TV I have on my other TVs now. Uh, so definitely for the 99 bucks for this out of the box, or if you buy one from us or whatever, it's definitely worth the investment. So uh, with, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so once you get to the register screen, you're gonna wanna go ahead and register. When the welcome video comes up, if you're not familiar with it, it's probably worth watching. If not, you can just hit the forward button and skip through it. See, so no, no parental controls. And now the new version has what they call Alexa, which is their voice activated system. Uh, this is the new interface. It looks a lot like the uh, original interface. So to get Kodi installed, the first thing you want to do is go to settings, system, and essentially we need to enable the developer options for us to uh, plug in a third party app like Kodi. So just make sure all of these say on. And the next thing you want to do is go to about and then go to network and you'll see there at the top uh, your network address. So just take a note of what that is and then go over to your computer. Okay, so once you're at your computer, I'll have a link to this app, but essentially there's this app called the Fire Amazon Fire TV Utility app. It still works with the newer 4K or Fire TV 2. Essentially, you'll take that zip and you'll extract it out onto your C drive, and then you'll download the Android version of Kodi, the APK file, and put it in that same folder. So the first thing we want to do is go in and add our IP address as we... Um, as, as you wrote down just a second ago. Make sure and save that. You might want to uh, make sure it's clicked here. Uh, the normal debug click, that way you can just make sure it's doing something and then you can check for updates if you want to. So save and close. Now really important here, don't just start pressing these buttons. You have to go back up and hit file and then connect for it to actually connect to that Fire TV. And then once it connects, there's some things you can do here. Now, I really like this Firestarter program, but just so you know, at least out of the box right now, it does not work. So I'll show you a quick uh, error message that I'm getting when this is installed. So you can see the error that you get when uh, you try to install Firestarter on the new Amazon 4K or Fire, Fire TV 2. It doesn't like you hijacking the home, but it's no big deal. Kodi still works and, and we'll continue on. Okay, so you can see Firestarter doesn't uh, exactly work yet, but it's no big deal. There's still a lot of stuff we can do. Uh, one thing you want to do is install Autopilot. What this will do, and I'll show you how it works, essentially when your Fire TV boots up, it'll automatically boot into Kodi for you. If you want it to, you can still go back to the Fire TV and use all of the normal functionality of it, but it's just an easy way to get into Kodi, especially since Firestarter is not working. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just hit install that. It's going to install. And then I want to come up here and press the select button. And then I'm going to select uh, the newest version of Kodi. Right now it's 15.1. So just double click it. It'll put it in there. And then I'll hit sideload third party application. And it'll pop open this dialog box. Now, this box, you can go ahead and close the, uh, 
the autopilot, for instance, but this box, it'll actually go away whenever it's done. So I, I, typically it takes about 60 seconds or so. Very important, make sure that your PC that you're using this for is on your same network that your Fire TV is. So whether they're hardwired or wired, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that they're on the same network so they can see each other. Uh, make sure there's no firewalls or anything blocking it. Okay, so you saw the dialog box just went away. That means Cody's installed. So we'll go ahead and flip it back over to uh, that input on this TV. So I have both my PC and that hooked up there. So uh, to get to Cody now, since uh, Firestarter's not working, you can just go to Applications, Manage Installed Applications, and then go to Cody. And when you do that, just tell it to launch and it'll launch Cody. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, just for now, is go ahead and show you. If I click Autopilot here and launch that, I can scroll down to where I see Cody and just select it. And again, all that will do is it will just auto-boot Cody whenever you uh, fire up your Fire TV. It's just an easy way to get to it. So you can see there it is there, so I'll just hit OK. Are you sure you want to launch it up at startup? So yes. Okay, so now that's set up. So what we're going to do now, I could reboot it. It'll just go into Cody, but I'm just going to go here. So this is one way to get to it as well, manage application. So I'll hit Cody, go ahead and launch it. You see there, there it is uh, working exactly how I want. One thing to note, if the time is not what you want, go back to your Fire TV settings and just set the time zone there because Cody will pick it up from there. Also, you'll notice here that this screen, I don't know if this is 720 or 1080 screen, but... Uh, if you want to get that set up, I can show you how to do that real quick. Just go to System or Settings and then System and then Video Output, Video Calibration. And when you do, you can just start pushing the down and left to adjust the top left corner or down and right, I guess. So you can see there. So you'll just want to get that where you can barely see the blue. Press the OK button. Then push up and left and that'll do the bottom right corner. And then when you click the OK button, uh, that's how high you want your subtitles and the other one's okay so then I can just hit the back button and go out so that's it right there um, I have plenty of other videos showing you how to put all the streaming add-ons if you want those how to get your local music how to stream music videos so visit gameroomsolutions.com for that um, again we sell these on our website if you don't want to go to the trouble to uh, loading them up you'll, you can uh, go to the website and see everything that's included with that uh, make sure and like and subscribe to the video so it does work on the new Fire TV 2 in 4K and it's fast, just uh, real quick again, just so you can see how quick these screens are as I'm going through. It's incredibly fast. Uh, so definitely worth the purchase. Again, GameRoomSolutions.com. Please subscribe. Thanks.